Let's go. Woke up like I'm on a mission. I'm double up seven. What's up there, everybody out there in TV land watching? You're now tuned in to All Hip Hop. I'm your host, Exodus Swift. And we got another up and comer out of Detroit, Michigan, doing a thing. Why don't you go on and introduce yourself for people out there watching? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bianca Bad. How y'all doing? You say more than that, no? Oh, okay. Well, I just want to tell you guys who I am. I'm a singer songwriter based out of Detroit, Michigan. Um, I throw showcases here for all of the upcoming artists to get some type of outlet to be able to showcase their talent each and every Thursday at the Bullfrog. And I do a number of things here in the city. And we're going to get into that number of things. But the first question is, what does Bianca Bat stand for the name? Mm, I like that question because a lot of people don't understand that my name is actually, the last ending of my name is actually acronym. So it's Bianca and then it's BAD, B-A-D-D. -D. And BRAVE stands, I mean BAD stands for Brave, Ambitious, Dedicated, and Determined. So that's what BAD stands for, Bianca BAD. I like that. Thank you. Thanks. All right, now, I got a habit <clears throat> of catching my guests off guard. Mm -hmm. Now, you seem like you prepped and everything ready. All right. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Right. Next question. No, before we get to the next question, top three worst artists. Worst? Yep. <laughs> here in the city or just overall, period? Period. They can be here in the city. They can be overall. They can be just did a concert on national TV. Okay. Top three worst. I would say what about the J.J. Fish Dude, he's like really an artist now. That JJ Fish guy, he's, he's a horrible artist. Though. Okay, let's rephrase the question. <laughs> You're trying to beat around the bush. <laughs> Top three artists <laughs> who have albums in stores that you can go purchase uh, that are signed to a label or have their own label. Okay. It can be independent artists also. So I would say. Um, the top three horrible artists. I don't know. I don't call people. I don't say people horrible. Yes, you do. You just don't <laughs> want to say that on TV. Everyone oh. has heard somebody where they say, oh, he horrible. He slash she, they horrible. So who is it? And you know what? He, he gave me time to think about this, and I still didn't even come up with the names. But, <laughs> but if I had to say one person... I'm trying to think. Three people, not one. Three. I would say Iggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Iggy knows she's one of the top three. I mean, that's. Performance-wise, I would say Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna's kind of washed up now. Yeah. And, um. You don't think Mariah Carey took an L oh, after that? Yeah. Oh, Mariah Carey, too, but what's the guy that got that song? They're like, how am I going to run a no, 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 no. Is that Kodak Black or is that? It's one of them. It's so crazy. It's the stupid song ever. That sound like every future song that came out this past year. I don't. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I can't think of his name though. I don't think it's Kodak Black, but I, I can't think of his name. He from Atlanta, I believe. Uh, maybe the producer. You know his no, name. Hey. It be like that commercial. It be like I like Minnesota. They got a commercial. It's about Coca Cola commercial. Yeah, Lily. Lil <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh man. <laughs> this let me tell you what pissed me off about him. What? All right. I'm I may be an old head when it comes to music. Uh -huh. All right. We we have some artists that got assassinated, God rest their soul, you know, and some artists like they they was of a status where there was greatness where you knew somebody would try to take them out. And even if they wasn't, it's some artist that wasn't great that you knew somebody would try to take them out. Mm -hmm. Nobody has, I'm against black on black violence, but why hasn't nobody did nothing to this boy yet? Right. I it's, don't know. I don't know. They should. <laughs> it's like, come on. Yes. For real. Like, I'm not, okay. I'm going away for the interview for a minute. But okay. I, when I was talking about Lil Yari with somebody I know, uh -huh. it's like, all right, I'm against racism. Mm -hmm. But if the Klan needs for people to join, all they got to do is hold up his portfolio mm. <laughs> as a person, 
and you're going to have a lot of people joining right up. Exactly, exactly. I'll be the one joining. <laughs> yeah, I see him, for real. But you, but so, wait, you kind of, you don't think Mariah Carey took an L? She did, and she actually took an L um, New Year's Eve. Did you Bad. see that? Bad, yes. I feel like, what's, she just needs to sit down somewhere. Did you see her with the, um, it was like a award show for the R&B singers, like I think it was. I seen that, yeah. and I seen her mess up lip sync. Yeah, so it's just like it's about time that she just go ahead and sign somebody <laughs> and get them the ropes. Yeah, go somewhere and sit down. I yeah. think Nick Cannon did some tour. Yeah, he probably did. Yep. All right. When did you start doing music, and what made you want to get into music? When did I start doing music, and what made me want to get into music? I started doing music um, at a very, very young age. Ever since I could remember. Probably like at four or five, I was like running around the living room singing tunes that I saw on the TV and stuff like that. And what really inspired me when I was that at that age, I saw the movie What's Love Got to Do With It. So when I seen Tina Turner and how she was entertaining, she just wasn't singing. She was entertaining and with those muscles and she was moving and working. So I'm like, oh my God, I would love to do that. Like I would love to be somebody that can go on stage and have all these people yelling at me because I know how to move and be sexy and you know, stuff like that. So ever since I can remember, I've always been doing music since elementary to middle school to high school to college. I've, I've been doing music my whole life, so yeah. And what got me started was that, just just growing up and just being in love with it. She definitely inspired me. Tina Turner is for sure what inspired me to start wanting to even be a singer. All right, tell us about your music and what sets you apart from every other singer songwriter. Okay, before I tell you all about my music, you make sure you all check it out. <laughs> On iTunes, SoundCloud, any type of music outlet, you can find my music. But um, Everywhere music so. Yep, everywhere music is so. But uh, what's the second part of the question? What sets you apart from every other singer songwriter? Um, that's a great question. What sets me apart? From Even singer songwriters that singer claim songwriter. that you bite in this and right, that. We right. not. I don't want to be no Charlemagne. Never mind. No. What sets me apart is originality. Seriously, like a lot of people, y'all hear this new wave of music, and it has to sound like a. A, a, a certain sound everybody is doing it it's making sense because it's what the music is sounding like but me i'm still making music that's original i'm still making music that's pure and straight from my heart and it's not just what everybody else is doing it's like it's still sad songs it's still music that make people fall in love or make people want to have a baby your or, single's not a sad song no i haven't released the one that i'm putting out yet oh. the sad one that i'm talking about Wow. But as far as like the songs that I have out now, yeah, yeah like they, they they baby makers. I make baby making music, but yeah, that's um, that. but I'm yeah. trying to to show you guys that I not only can make maybe making music, but I can really sing. I can showcase my talent. So a lot more ballads and stuff about my life and what I went through. That's what I'm getting ready to translate in my music now. But that's what sets me aside from a lot of the artists here because. I am 100% original, and I'm an entertainer. You know, I don't, I know how to perform. I don't just go on stage, and you can't, you're not just looking at somebody standing there with the mic. You're looking at somebody putting on a show, smoke machines and fog, and maybe somebody acting out, re re um, reinstating my performance, and just, I don't know. I do, I do a big. I give you guys a show, so that's what makes. Me and fun. besides giving a show, like you said, you host a showcase. Yeah. You're giving every other per person who's in our industry a chance exactly. to come out. That's another thing that sets me aside because a lot of artists, they're very, very selfish. So they only want to make it first and then they'll help someone else. Or what jealous. I'm doing, or jealous. What I'm doing now is I'm giving artists an opportunity to make it right along with me. So it's not just, okay, Bianca, she's five steps ahead of us. No, I'm giving you guys a lot to, to, to be with me and to grow and be able to, you know, come up in the industry as a whole and not just as a single person. So... Those yes. showcases I do every Thursday at the Bullfrog is is for that reason, so that artists can be able to, you know, perform and get a a, a crowd they never got before. You know, build their fan base and actually network because it's always great people coming in there from A and R's to um, people from out of town. They fly in from Atlanta, New York, Georgia, wherever they come. So yeah. All right, I gotta catch you off guard for a minute. Mm -hmm. Too prepped and professional, so I gotta catch you off guard. I was gonna be like this, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, now you help these artists out. Right. Obviously, they're good enough for you to take time out and help them out. Mm -hmm. Now, what if they suck? So, you know what? You can't tell an artist they suck because there's so many I, artists I, I that sure believe will. in themselves so much 
that if you told them they suck, they would still believe in themselves. So this is what I, I um, encourage at the Bullfrog. It's like you may not see a thousand of the best artists and the best showcase talent. You you may see a good five out of anybody that come, but those artists that do suck and that are trying to make a way, maybe they can improve and get better. So I don't necessarily just say you suck because I had to come from somewhere too. But okay, it is some artists that's horrible and it's just like if I could tell them to just – go somewhere else and do something else i would but you know what i don't even got the place to do that i just gotta encourage them i gotta encourage them let me rephrase the question okay because i want to get a i want to get it you want to get sticky <laughs> yes <laughs> if there is an artist that suck with no room for improvement they they will never advance they will never get better then they'll just be performing at the bullfrog for the rest of their lives that wouldn't be on one of your showcases would it yeah, I mean it's it's the show. You would let an artist that suck perform on one of your showcases because it's like a it's a uh, it's like an open mic. It's like all kinds of talent. So I can't just turn down someone that sucks, and I can't just be like, no, you can't perform because you suck. It's like okay, you could perform, but if you suck, you're not going to win because it's still a competition at the end of the day. If they can't sing, what you tell them they can't sing? No, I don't tell them they can't sing. I mean, why not? Obviously, they don't win, so they know they probably feel some type of way. Like okay, I need to do better. Well, I don't tell people they can't sing when they when they're at the. That's why they come. That's why they come because they love the, they love the niceness. They love to feel like they are somebody, you know, regardless of if they're horrible. But let me, I can say that, I am going to upgrade my showcases to where only the top like five. The best performance. The best performances are only able to perform and bring okay. out their people. So. That's because, it. like, if I'm sitting at one of the showcases and somebody who can't sing get up, mm -hmm. I might leave. Right. Right. You don't want nobody walking out. Uh -huh. So let them take a L, hurt their feelings. You, you're doing a lot to help, but mm -hmm. you can't help everybody. But see, they're they're um they're paying me to perform. Okay, that's different. Yeah. Then I'm taking everybody's money. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking everybody's I money. Mean, that's different. Like, I mean, what you gonna do? Uh, no, I want to take your money because you don't know how to perform. And yeah. you want to perform on my stage. You okay, know. that's good business. I like that. <laughs> yeah. All but right. I do still support y'all. Even if they suck, she still supports you. She suck. won't tell you if you suck. She won't tell you. I still love you. I'll tell you. Quick. <laughs> I'll make it go viral. Mm -hmm. All right. In five years, where do you plan? What do you plan on being music? Where do you plan on being music-wise? In five years, where do I plan, plan on being music-wise? Yes. Um, in five years, I will be five years older. It's like, no. Um, I believe that's everybody. <laughs> Basically, I see myself seriously being, um, seriously being a household name, an international artist, not just, not just national. I see myself being an international artist, traveling the world, touring, um, doing stuff that I can't even imagine. I can't even grasp on what I see myself doing, but I just know that my God has something so amazing for me that in five years from now, as much as I work and continue to strive, I'm going to be an international artist, touring and being a great artist all around the country. I believe that. Yeah. That single. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So especially with my single heart, like what we getting ready to do to that, it's going to be crazy. And... I said earlier, I don't want to be no, no love Charlemagne. You know, <laughs> some stuff may have slipped out. It's some artists, you know, that get jealous yeah. of your success. Yes. And they might say and do things, get drunk, go on little rants yes. on Facebook uh -huh. and IG and other places and do little crazy things. I mean... Are you used to that? Are you used to people smiling in your face and trying to stab you in your back, throwing shots at you? Yes, I'm very used to it. And like they say, um, if you don't have any haters, you're not popping. So I always felt like if you hating on me, then I'm obviously doing the right thing because it's like I don't hate on anybody. But it's obviously that I mean it's obvious that I could be someone getting headed on because I'm actually progressing and I'm actually doing something that they can see their self doing, but they're not on the same level. 
So. Yeah, and I'm not going to say no names. Right. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, I, had, I just had to clear my throat. <laughs> That's all I had to do. I'm not saying no names. Listen, you. It's sometimes you just got to let people hang themselves. You know, it's like you can't. What's that saying? You can't lead a, a horse to a pot. What they used to say? I can't you even think You can lead a horse it. to a water, but you can't make a drink. So yeah, 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 you can lead a horse to a water, but you can't make a drink. So if you want to hang yourself, you can go right ahead. But I'm not hanging myself with you. And I'm not about to make you relevant. So thanks for hating, cause it's gonna make me even better. Like I said, I wasn't <laughs> starting nothing. I was clearing my throat, and I was just asking a question. I don't even know how we Curiosity got on this. I don't know how we got on this subject. I don't know either. All right, three best artists. Oh, three best artists. My girl Nisha Nache. I love her. Seriously, we can ready to work together. Um, I would love her too if she did the show. Yeah. Yeah, I would love her if she did the show. Okay, I could put that bug in her ear seriously. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> I could really do that. So I Nisha, would be her, I would be her number one fan if she did the show. <laughs> That's like my all-time top artist here in the city, Nisha Nache. But like international wise, I love Beyonce. Beyonce is for sure top before Nisha. I'm sorry, but Beyonce, my Nisha, and uh, let's see, my third top favorite, favorite of them all. Myself. Is that included? No, no that's kind of arrogant. That is arrogant. Yeah. That's my favorite artist. No, that's not arrogant. Okay, okay, let me think no, of somebody good. else. That's good. <laughs> uh, okay. No, that but you got was a little arrogant. <laughs> you got right, next to me. I said Nisha Nache, and I'm trying to think of my, my third top. I will say uh, uh, Jennifer Hudson. Uh, I agree with two of those. Vocal wise, she's the best, the beast. I agree with two of those. Yep. Yep. Not gonna say which one I don't agree with. <laughs> Do we have time for me to say which one I don't agree with? Okay, let me say which one I don't agree with. Nisha Nisha, she's good. Jennifer Hudson, cool. Yeah. Before I say this, are you part of the Beehive? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. My name started with a B, and people mistake my name with Beyonce, so of course. I think Beyonce is good, but I, what was you finna say? <laughs> they <saw me. laughs> I think Beyonce is good, but what's the word? I don't want to say washed But she's up. trained? Like she's been born, she's born into the, that. I think she's getting born. I think too much of one artist. Yeah. Too, it's it's, it's Beyonce. Like, let everything. somebody else get some shine. Let somebody yeah. else be on top. Yeah, like I said before, Nicki Minaj is washed up. I believe Nicki Minaj is washed up. Why do you think Nicki Minaj is washed up? She's just washed up. To me, her music is becoming washed up. It's yeah. just been too much. It's coming she, so commercial. Yeah. She's not being that Nicki that we met. You feel me? That Nope. I was on the plane with the Wayne, that Nicki. Yeah, she's... She done. Yeah. And the whole Beyonce and Nicki Minaj thing, collabo that they had, I wasn't Yeah, feeling. me either. Uh, uh, a little. <laughs> Any other questions? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk about you girl like that. <laughs> no, it's cool. I'm That's just, just me. It's going to move it right along. You know, Because you don't right want to say nothing about Beyonce. You don't want to say nothing, I ain't bad, about nothing about bad about Beyonce. Beyonce, I love you. And I'm going to meet you one day. Okay. That's why you don't want to say nothing exactly. about even if I made her, I still tell her I think she washed up. I tell her to her face. Mm. Yeah. Like my man Saga, who's um, you know who Saga is, the battle rapper. Mm -hmm. I was talking to him, and I'm got, I got him to come down in a few months, and he uh, he got a catchphrase. I was told the truth hits harder than a bullet, you know, something like mm. that. Truth hits hard, so that's mm. just me. That's deep. So events and upcoming projects. <clears throat> Okay, so um, as far as the events I have coming up, make sure you guys are at the Bullfrog every other Thursday. So the Thursday that's coming up now, I'm not going to be there, but the following Thursday after that, I'm there. So every other Thursday, I'm at the Bullfrog for the Let Us Be Great Showcase, giving away cash prize, live radio interviews, 
um, press up cities to the best artists that come out. So make sure y'all check that out. And I also have a show coming up at the Masonic Temple. I don't have a date just yet, but I'm putting on the show for R&B artists. Um, that and also I have so other so many other things coming up yet, but I don't have dates like as far as being in Atlanta, New York. Um, I have a showcase getting ready to start out in Atlanta in the beginning of the year. Well, actually, it is January, so February we're starting that up. And, yeah, just a number of things that I'm doing. Make sure you follow me on all social media so that you can be updated on all of those things. Um, before I continue, me and my dancers, we I haven't been performing everywhere because me and my dancers are preparing for the bigger shows that I'm getting ready to come, come up with. So, yeah. A lot of the big shows are going to happen in the next year, not you know, not now, but just in the next year. You guys will be updated on more of the bigger events that I have going on. And I got something else to say, but before I get into that, it's um, got an award for you, but I was supposed to get it to you today. But the statue that's been made, it's not a statue, it's like a trophy. Uh -huh. It's not ready, so I'm going to have to bring it to you. Yeah. I'm going to have to bring it. It's... Queen of the De Queen of Detroit hey, trophy, that's yeah. Dope. Thank and you. We was talking about people being jealous and hating, so I'm just guessing we're gonna see a lot of Facebook and Instagram videos after I post that. Yeah. What Ooh. you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what you gonna do? He just said he's giving me the Queen of Detroit award. You know how many haters? gonna come out of that but i'm gonna just think about the positive people that's gonna love it so i just i'm just focus on that and the haters that's the artist that's gonna come out of it send me their names okay yeah okay i'm not i'm not no no you just trying to, trying to get some things you're trying to get some some views yeah <laughs> i'm not trying to start no drama like i said whoever was hating on you before <clears throat> that's on them no we was talking about you upcoming yeah <clears throat> all right <clears throat> excuse me and Tell them about the social <laughs> Okay, you guys can find me on all social media uh, at Bianca Bad. My Instagram was just hacked at 65K. But I'm getting it back. Thank no, wait God. a minute. <laughs> Haters. I'm the type. You open the door, I got to walk through you gotta it. You got to walk through it, man. Do you think it was anybody in particular? You know what? I posted a picture that had a nip slip. I don't know if a lot of people just like, like flagged my page to get it deleted. Nobody was flagging your page. Come How on. would you know? Nobody's gonna <laughs> go on your page and Women. flag your. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a nip slip. Okay, I didn't know. But next thing you know, an hour later, my page is deleted. So it's like I don't know if it was because of that, or I don't know if someone purposely got my page deleted. You Any never names know. in particular you might have found? Who? Anybody. I don't speak on animals, you know. I don't speak on animals. Leave them animals in the zoo, you know. Unstable creatures. Yeah, I can't speak on animals. Yeah. Now, if we happen to speak on animals, or yeah. like I like to go to the zoo, what particular animal? <laughs> that bitch a monkey. <laughs> you can't say that on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we can't say that on the air. He asked me what animal. I cussed. I'm sorry. Monkey <laughs> is the. Die. Is it no, no, you can't say, can't that, say either. that either. No, it's like a different language. Okay. No, you can't say that on the. I'm so sorry. My mama watching this. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. Is she watching? No, she not watching. Whatever. That All girl right. is a monkey. No. Sorry. We ain't gonna say no names. I'm All trying right. to keep a professional. Yeah, we Shut gotta the, keep it professional, and I'm very sorry about the that. The professionalism but. just went right out the door with that. <laughs> <laughs> you <doing> so good. <laughs> yes. We'll give you Dr. Phil's number after this. <laughs> All right. Um, the single with M. City Jr. Mm -hmm. Hot. Thank you. Thank you. Tell people about it. So, y'all, um, my, my City Hard that's released now on uh, iTunes, actually, and Spotify, uh, anywhere, Amazon, you can find it anywhere for 99 cents. Also for free on SoundCloud if you guys just want to listen to it, download it for free. Um, MCDJR is featuring on this track, and it's very, very dope. It's like very crossover music. 
And um, we're getting it ready to shoot the video in the first quarter of this year and release it during the summertime. So it's going to be a banger in the streets. You know, you guys going to be able to roll down your windows, get all hype. It's going to it's gonna be dope. Shout I know out to, a lot um, of dudes that's been waiting for the video. Yeah. Shout out to Manor. He's actually he wrote this track for me. Shout out to uh, Jay Johnson. He produced the track. Manor helped produce the track as well. And, yeah, me for even putting it together. I appreciate everybody in City for even being on that track as a feature. He did an amazing job with his verse, so make sure y'all got to check that out as well. So, look, wait, wait. You got the video coming. Yes. You got the showcases you're doing. Yes. You got some more things that's going to be popping. I'm getting you the Queen of Detroit Award. Yes. Your haters is going to uh, be. At an all time high. Yeah. We're going to have to, like, stand on a ladder to reach the haters. Like. Yeah, that's. Get on a plane to reach the haters. They're going to be so high. It's okay, though. You got it's some okay. protection or something? Yeah, yep. I actually just got a bodyguard. Um, Ain't nobody talking about a button. What Can you I mean? say what type of protection I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm not talking about a... Like a... A faux faux thing. <laughs> yeah, I do. I just got my CC. Where's the professionalism? Like a, a firearm. A firearm. Yes. Firearm. Okay. You got one? Uh, yes, I have one, and it's pink, and I just got my CCW, so I'm able to use it if someone do. That's going to be embarrassing if you. I uh, don't want to pull it, though. That's the thing. Like, they say when you don't have your firearm, you're going to shoot up the whole room. But once you actually got your firearm, you become more conscious. Uh, <laughs> I, I believe so. That wasn't the case for me. No. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't going to talk no, about that. No, that was <laughs> but yeah, not the case you become me. more conscious. So I don't want to use it because I feel like if I use it, it's going to go left. Like, I don't want to use it. Yeah. But like so you, you said, you're going to need it. You really do. Like, anybody, I encourage you. Like, anybody that's coming up, like, you don't want to be out here alone because people will try you. And you'll be by yourself and you won't have no way to survive. <laughs> yeah, you never know. It might be one of those jealous people one day and they out doing a... Facebook video or Instagram video driving around and want something in the morning and they might decide pulling the bullfrog. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. might need it. No, seriously. I, I kinda do be like trying to move around the city in a like a snakeish way because if I show people everywhere I'm at where I'm doing it and where I'm doing it, it's gonna get bad. Especially the more I, I have coming up, like you said, like the more success you get, the more haters you get. Get ready for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you ain't going to have time to pray and shoot. You're going to have to choose one. Now, which one you going to do? All right. <laughs> you going to pray for him or you going to shoot him? Both. <laughs> you can't do both. <laughs> All right, wait. We're going to scratch that. <laughs> ha ha tried to get me to sn dry snitch on myself when he was here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask you. You know what? I'm going to just leave it alone. Um, yeah, I'm a good person. It's cool, it's cool. Social links, tell everybody where they can find you. Okay, once again, my name is Bianca Bad, and you can find me on all social media via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, under Bianca Bad. And the spelling of my first name is it's not original. It's not like everyone else's. It's spelled B-I-A-N-C-E. -E. So it has an E on the end instead of an A. And then underscore Bianca, well, Bianca underscore bad, spelled B-A-D-D, -D, which stands for Brave, Ambitious, Dedicated, and Determined. Okay, yeah, don't type Brave, media. Ambitious, yeah. just type B-A-D-D. -D. Bianca yeah. bad. On all social media, whether it's an underscore or not, it's still going to pop up. And if y'all don't remember everything she just said, just Google search her name. Yeah, if you don't remember everything I just said, just check out my website, and it gives you all the links. So, Bianca, www.biancabad.com, directly. Just go to my website and it gives you the links to all of my social media. And you can actually check out my video right when you get on the page. So that way you don't got to search it on YouTube. You could just go to my website, check out my video. It's called Faded, official video out now. And it's dope. I've seen it. You did? No comment. <laughs> How do you feel yeah. about the video? Um... My baby watching. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, 
off. We're going to get past that. Bring it back with all the music and stuff I'm trying. We got to get past that. Okay. I can't say nothing about no video. No, I ain't seen nothing. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. I didn't see no video. Uh-oh. I slipped up. The video that you said that I had said I had seen. I didn't see the video. <laughs> but go and watch the video to support her. I didn't see the video. It's called Faded by Bianca Bab. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Um, you want me to sing a little bit of it? No. No? <laughs> um, you can get the music, <clears throat> iTunes, everywhere. Yes. Tell them where. Yeah. iTunes, like I said, all of the music outlets you can possibly think Sorry of. <laughs> Um, one of the main ones, though, resources that you can get it is iTunes and um, Amazon for only 99 cents. Usually a lot of people with iPhones can just go straight to their phone, go to the music library, download my song right after, after typing it in the search bar, you know, or anything like that. Just make sure y'all check it out on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, SoundCloud, wherever, all music outlets. That song is available, and uh, like two other singles are out now, too. So previously, before I drop this, I have other music that you guys can check out as well. Yeah, and I'm not going to comment nothing else about any video. We're just going to leave it at check the music out. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's hot. <clears throat> check it out. You got a lot of things going on. Thank you. You got me in trouble. I might be getting shot later on today. <laughs> Hope not. How much time we got? We got 30 we got seconds. 30 more seconds. All right. Um, if you did get me in trouble in the next show, you're going to see me on the snap. <laughs> that comes on oxygen, so you can catch the updates for the next show on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. Man, I woke up light. Man, I woke up light. Let's go. Woke up like I'm on a mission. I'm double up seven. The teacher is back, so get ready. Cause class is in seven.